Hello again everybody, this is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Um, today I'm going to go over a question we get a lot of and it's about glutamine, whether or not you need to supplement with it. The thing about glutamine is it's the most abundant amino acid in the body. So in other words, it occurs in a lot of tissue in your body. Um, and a lot of people think if they take it, you know, they're going to get a lot of the purported effects from taking it. So the idea or the purported effects of glutamine are that one, it will increase cell volume. So it's like a cell volumizer, it'll hyperhydrate, something more along the lines of like creatine in that sense. Um, they think it could stimulate um, glycogen. It can also stimulate protein synthesis. Um, also, it's thought to have an anti-catabolic effect. In other words, keep you from breaking down muscle. The problem is, is that there's not really much support from any well-controlled peer-reviewed studies to show that supplementing with extra glutamine will do these things. Now, it is true that glutamine does do these things in your body. It does play a role in those functions. The question is, if I supplement extra glutamine, will these things happen? And the overwhelming evidence is no, when we're talking about otherwise healthy um, adults. You know, in elderly, sick people, um, in the hospital, there is some evidence that it can help with the immune system. Um, oftentimes, it's been found that it helps, you know, when it's combined with TPN, which is a form of nutrition that's given via an IV when somebody's in the hospital. Um, oftentimes, they're getting that because they have some kind of an NG tube in or something like that because they're critically ill. So patients that are ill seem to have some benefit from it, especially the dipeptide allineal glutamine, which you're seeing more and more of. And you're starting to see that pop up in supplements too. Um, again, there's not really a lot of research showing that helps athletes or otherwise healthy adults. Now, that one may, but at this point we haven't seen any of that research, and it seems to be a pretty expensive ingredient too. Now, other things to consider with glutamine is there's the free form, which is L-glutamine that you're going to commonly see, and also glutamine peptide, which is usually from hydrolyzed wheat gluten, um, if you have celiacs or even if you don't, I would recommend avoiding that. Um, you know, we know gluten has some pretty nasty effects, you know, whether you've been diagnosed with celiacs or not. So, you know, taking glutamine peptides would be detrimental actually to your GI tract in that sense because you can end up with leaky gut syndrome and other things along those lines. Um, and sometimes those glutamine peptides are added to your protein. So sometimes people say, hey, I took this whey protein and I had some digestive discomfort. Well, it may be because there's glutamine peptides added to it. Now, that doesn't mean the glutamine that already exists in whey protein is the problem. It's not. This is the added from, you know, hydrolyzed wheat gluten. So, bottom line is, is that if you're taking in high-quality proteins via whole food and or supplements, um, you know, whey, casein, egg, uh, you know, any of those, even now a lot of the vegan proteins have improved their amino acid profile, you're going to get plenty of glutamine. It's a conditionally essential one is what they call it, but our body seems to be able to make plenty of it. So, there's really no evidence showing that you really need it. Um, you know, other questions that we get is, you know, pretty much, yes, should I take extra glutamine? Um, no, unless you are somebody who's competing in, you know, long endurance events. You run a lot of marathons, you do triathlons. Now, there is some evidence that, that it can help you. And that kind of goes to show how, you know, debilitating those can be on your body. Because we said otherwise healthy adults don't need it. Well, when you run a marathon or you do a triathlon, I mean, that really beats your body up. So during that period when you're really beat up or when you're training up to it, you may benefit from taking some extra glutamine. But otherwise, if you're taking it just because, hey, you know, you're going to train hard for an hour or anything like that, you're taking in high quality protein, you don't need it, you could save yourself a lot of money. Uh, we went through all the research for the most part, looked at all the well controlled studies, to, you know, to kind of answer this question for you guys because it's commonly debated. Um, it's in a lot of supplements, and a lot of people say, well, then why is it in supplements? Well, because it is the most abundant amino acid in the body, it occurs a lot. And they point to one particular study, which was absolutely flawed, showing that it did help, you know, increase, uh, you know, recovery. You know, recovery is the big buzzword when it comes to that. You're better off just getting it in its peptide bonded form with your regular protein. So, I think I answered all your questions on this one. Um, if you guys have any others, please post them in the comments section of the video or the blog. Uh, we're happy to answer them. Also, please check us out at facebook.com/bestprice-nutrition. Thanks for watching.